massive episode today, my friends. We've got youth intake plus a must-win game against UCD, our you know our local rivals. It's not fierce. It's more of a everybody grabs a pint after the game type of rivalry, is my guess. And uh, we have to win that game if we want a shot at winning the title. We lose that game, UCD automatically wins it. I kind of I kind of am mo mostly worried about making the playoff spots and making sure we get as much money as possible. But it would be massive if we get a win today, and we beat them the last time we saw them. So why not, right? <laughs> Let's go. All right, my friends, welcome back in. It's episode 12 of Eren Gobra. Thank you so much for your support on this series. It has been unbelievable, the number of views and likes and comments, and I feel like we got a really good thing going here, so thank you for watching. One of the things that always frustrates me with youth intake is, like, you get all, like, this could be the best player that's ever come, and it's a golden generation, and they're all, like, half star or one star, you know, when you when you have them as prospects um, that are trialing out with your club. And then when you sign all of them, I, I went ahead and automatically signed all of them, which was a bit of a mistake because I was thinking of a different save I had where our our youth prospects were six euros a week and this is 35. So we've kind of, you know, impacted the wages a bit. Um, but when you actually sign them, they're all gray stars except for two. And it's kind of like, really? Like, what happened? Jack Ledwidge was the one that... Um, our, our uh, head of youth development said, like, yeah, he's one of the guys that I brought in. It could be a golden, like, one of the best players, a golden generation, something like that. He's a two gray star. So maybe it's because he's determined and he can he could reach that capability. It'd be nice to have a right winger. But, I mean, he looks like everybody else. is passing. Eh. But maybe it's the determination. Because we do lack determination in our squad. I'm, I'm not judging that. So the best one of the bunch, if you're looking at just the pure star ratings, is Clive Mitchell, who's a left-footed, inverted winger. He goes with Dean Casey. Perfect. Um, I mean, he does have nine crossing and eight dribbling. So, that you know, but I kind of want to train him on, on the left wing and just use him as a left winger. He's got the pace and, the, you know, he, he's 16. He could he could get there. Um, I just think that's hilarious. Is the, the guy that our uh, uh, head of youth development says, you know, best one, the actual best player to come in is the guy at the same position. It's like, did you mix up your notes? You know, are you confused about that? Um, and then we have Uchenna... At a Yinka. Sorry if that's incorrect. He looks quite tasty, my friends. Fairly determined. 15 determination. Needs to work on his heading. Needs to work on his pace. But he accelerates well. So if he's short distances, you don't really have to go that far to get your pace going, right? Like, just, just accelerate quickly. Um, obviously, composure, concentration is an issue. Makes good decisions. Pretty good anticipation. And he's a stopper. That's why he's got his aggression is... is uh, beneficial if we play him on a defend role you know i we need good center backs he's six feet tall 149 pounds needs to put on some weight but i i, I was pretty excited about him um stephen fitzgerald is another one with high potential ability ball winning midfielder not determined not ambitious kind of if I, I i think if we could fix the personality the determination then then we have a shot. I'm not going to mess with this right now, but one of the things I'm going to look at is is pulling some of our high potential players up into a training unit, which is something that you do under training in units. If you've not seen this before, you have an attacking unit and a defensive unit. You can call, add, remove, reserve a youth team player to first team training. So you can call them up into your your overall training and then you know, get get maybe get them some influence with one of those senior players, like that model citizen that we signed, right? David Cassidy. Um, we had attacking mid. He could kind of play left wing potentially, but he's starting out so low. So that was, I mean, honestly, quite disappointing. Um, right now, our best prospect um, is John O'Neill. He, he has a 10.0 in training, a 10.0 in training. Uh, he's got 13 goals and 15 starts and three subs and nine assists on a 7-3-1 in the U19 league. But, He's competing against players his age or a little bit older, right? Could be a year older. He looks quite good, friends. He he's probably gonna get called up next season. And we got Tommy Tierney, who's a center back, six foot one. Again, needs to work on the heading, but overall, not bad. He's another stopper. We got we're, we're very stopper oriented, which is which is curious. Um, and I feel like there was another one. Maybe it's Jim Gill. You know, left back. I mean. Oh. Stay away from Kevin Knight, man. Pull that determination up. He's unambitious. He's got potential. Maybe someday. But that's what we're dealing with. So I, I thought that was interesting. 
Um, I, I really get for, I know it's because, you know, you're judging potential ability and player ability at this level. Isn't very good, but it's just like, how could you be that far? How could you be, you know, five, you know, whatever, four and a half gray stars off for, for some of these players or three and a half for some of these players. Like, oh, he's the best player ever. He's a two gray star. He's not even like a four gray star. Give me a break. Give me a break. All right, my friends, I've waffled enough. Here we go. We are lining up with McGinnis Costello. Maybe that's right. Connor Keeley, Captain Jack, Kevin Knight, Joe Doyle coming in. Pick a right winger, any right winger. David Cassidy is going to come in. It makes me a little nervous. I think this is interesting. I don't remember this on FM18. It shows you the mentality. He's competent at everything. The the position and role duty is a bit odd because we have him as an advanced playmaker, which he knows very well. So I'm a little nervous to be playing him, but he's got such better attributes that I kind of feel like I don't have a choice. Um, we got Zach O'Neill and Jack Watson. And, and the other thing is Jack Watson isn't as Matt Sharp. So he's played well. So this is what I'm talking about. Like he obviously, he knows his role really, really well. So I'm a little nervous that we're messing up some of the dynamics on the pitch by throwing David Cassidy in. Um, he's obviously throwing him in. He's had three starts um, on a 7-2-3. He, you know, not, not bad. Um... But this is how we're lining up. We got Mohal and O'Neill, you know, finishing out the. I mean, the back line is or the the sub line is kind of like, yeah, whatever. Let's go. Oh, this is a massive game. It's it's a monumental, massive game. Seven points currently is the gap. Could you make it four with two games left? That is what we're up against. If you draw it, it's six points with two games. No, it's seven points with two games left, and then obviously UCD will have won the title. We're going to play positive, which is where we've got a little more attacking. I think I'm going to drop into some note. Let's just see how it goes. So it's one of those things when you're playing the positive mentality, you, you, you want to have more attacking options. Like the assistant manager has reminded me of that. Like you've only got two, you need to have more, like less support, more attack because you're playing positive. I'm afraid that's going to bite us and it won't matter, but this is how we're going to roll. If we need to drop Fox back, you know, if you look at Cassidy again, I, I showed him last, last uh, episode, but in case you missed it, you know, he's got really good advanced playmaker attributes. He could do the box to box. He could slide over something like that. If we want to bring on Watson to have a little more defensive option, but I, I don't want to take off Zach O'Neill. So we'll play him as an advanced playmaker. If we need to drop him to like a more defensive deep line playmaker, we can do that. But I like I like getting him. Look at, look at the, the, the flair. It's a fourteen. He's a leader. I, that's why I think the advanced playmaker on attack is is where we want him. That's my thoughts. Let's proceed to the match, my friends. We did. It was four two. I think the last time we played. Pick up where you left off. Oh yes, lots of green. We're gonna go individually here. Go make a difference. Come on, Kevin Knight. I know you have no determination whatsoever. I know this annoys some people, but with dynamics, it's so massive. So, like, I feel like it's super important to get as much of this going in a, like, this is probably the biggest game of the season. So, it's worth it to me to take the time to do that, to show that on camera rather than cutting it out. We've got all but three players seemed motivated. Now, we don't know if they're actually motivated. <sighs> Your Cabin TV side could book their tickets to the playoffs should everything fall into place. How confident are you having that sewn up come full-time? Passionate. Um, we're focusing solely on this match now. I'll be foolish to start looking elsewhere. I, this is how I would look at it. Like, I know when you look at these options, you're kind of going like, okay, these, this is the most positive. Like, this is, I super believe in my squad. But if they don't get the win or if they don't lock up that playoff spot, you worry it's going to, like, demotivate them. So this potentially is, like, setting the bar too low. But is this how I bet? It doesn't matter. Like, you have one game at a time. you got three games left. Let's just do this match. And I'm going to say that passionately. And everyone's marching out. Let's go extended highlights. This is going to be the only, only game we show today. And that will determine do we show two games next uh, episode or just one and then doing, like, an end-of-season review, something like that. So that's why I've kind of gone with this and because it's a massive game and i and i rambled on about the uh youth intake here we go oh doyle come on mate yeah i mean just, just ball watching there come on get back get back 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 
Oh, wait, is that us? That's us! <laughs> My bad. No, that's not us. They're in blue. Oh, there's too many G O'Neills. Oh, that's so confusing. <laughs> Oh, sliding! No, no, no! He took some touch. Oh, he should have. Oh, that was a sit, I mate. That's a half chance. I think that was a. I was thinking we were in white, and then I saw G O'Neill, and it completely threw me off. I'm like, wait, we're at home, right? Keeley doesn't really clear it. He goes for a bit of a, a walk there. Who got in front of that? Cassidy, model citizen. Oh, I'm so excited. Never had a model citizen. I don't think in any of my saves ever have I had a model citizen. There he is, Cassidy. Long balls it forward. Right to the feet of Klukas, who eventually gets to the water. She's got the rudder. What does the fox say? What is it? He says, I have a heavy first touch. That's what, what, and then, and then I'm not going to close anybody down. I'm just going to stand there. Lovely. That's what the fox says. Okay. They're on the counter. Davis. Okay. O'Neal's there. The other, other O'Neal that we have. The one that doesn't want to sign a new contract. Come on, boys. This highlight's going on too long. Come on, boys. He's off. He's off. Oh, he's hit the post. I mean, the bar. Oh, come on, lads. Come on. They've had three shots. We might have to go cautious. <laughs> I mean, it's only six minutes in, but 80% possession is a lot. 74%. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's coming down. Uh, Klukas collects. Chest it down like a pro. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Oh, that was looking, that was looking fruity. 29% possession. It's not very good, but it, it's increased, I guess, from, from 20. Waters? Mmm, okay, wasn't on the same page with Lucas Klukas. Z Zach O'Neill, we're, we're just playing volleyball here with our heads. Okay. Get back, Fox! Oh, you are on attack, aren't you? Yeah, maybe I should put you on support. Yeah, probably. Klukas, surrounded, plays it nicely out to Doyle. That was lovely. Gets it right back in, Waters running out to it! Oh, he's at the side netting. Oh, lots going on. Lots going on. Lots going on here. Okay, possessions come up a tad. Oh, Klukas, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Don't, no, don't start it, Klukas. Back pass! I think, I, th I think what we're going to do is do this. We're going to leave him on advanced playbook on attack. I just want us to be a little more cautious. We're 25 minutes in. They've dominated possession. So I'd like us to stop being as positive and maybe catch them on the counter. That may not work, but we'll see. Are we going to get smashed here? Are we going to get smashed? Come on, lads. That's not that. Come on. Let, let's go. Let, oh, let me click demand more, please. Focus. Except for Klukas. Oh, no. Lucas Klukas. We've only had three shots. Oh, there's a shot on target. There it is. I was about to say we haven't had a shot on target. We just got one of the only before the end of the half. It's still not. It's not great. It's not great. Do we need to bring on Gary O'Neill for Lucas Klukas? I, I, he's, he's our leading goal scorer. I'm gonna. I'm gonna risk it. Show me something else. Let's freaking go. Hey, quick team talk. Like, get out. Get back out there in the rain. Let's start warming up. Getting our keeping our muscles. You know primed and ready to go not just get an equalizer but a win what was that oh come on ref come on don't do this it's just a yellow that's poor i think that's super poor oh yeah apprehensive are you we're gonna have to go four three three we might have to i mean this is a must win game a, a draw doesn't do us any good so um you know I don't like that there's not a whistle. I didn't even see. I, I, I looked away. I didn't see who pushed. Come on, McGinnis. Kick it right at him. And don't dive out of the way. Oh, you were there. You were there. We've had two clear-cut chances to their two. We just haven't finished. We, we haven't played that poorly. You know, it's it's one of those things where do you throw the baby out with the bathwater? Do you, do you completely go to a different tactic you've never played with, like a 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1 with David Cassidy in the uh, the attacking midfield central role. You know, is it worth doing that? Zach O'Neill takes a crack. He's trying to make something happen. Get to it. There. Oh, come on. How God, did you not get that? But it, it works out eventually, I guess. Doyle to Klukas. Kenny Penguin. Waters is super covered. There's three guys around him. Cassidy collects it, though. O'Neill's going to take another crack. No, he plays it to what does the Fox say? What does he say this time? Oh, that's a pretty good six-yard box cross. 
No one made the run, but it was a good cross. Good idea. Okay. Oh, he's t he took a knock. I was thinking we, we could go after that guy. Now Waters is anxious. Come on, Nuts. Don't, don't collapse. Don't collapse. You've had two clear-cut chances. It's been a fairly even game. It's just that... Oh, Klukas! Klukas! Oh, he's gonna... What are you doing? Uh, take a touch, mate. All right. 65th minute. We're gonna change... We're changing everything. Yeah, don't get Jack sent off. Did that have time to kick in yet? Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't get sent off here. Custom. Oh, where is our... What is our right back doing that far up? Oh, he's just dribbling right... Th oh, gosh. Well, my friends... <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Um, right. Um, oh, do we take the anxious 6.1 or the 6.0 off? I think we'll take the 6.0 off. You know, we'll take them both off. It, no, 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 we won't. Not for right now. Do we play three at the back? I think we might do that. I think we're going to have to, to be honest with you. Uh, you may be screaming at your your screens right now going like, what are you doing? We have to score four goals is what we have to do. So that's why I'm making these changes, essentially. Um, you play... Oh, you play attack too, huh? 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 But you on the box, this is not... This is going to be a bunch of clicking and changes for no good, is my guess. We're going with the classic, my friends. The 3-3-4. Three, three, yeah, not the 4-3-3. Three, three. The 3-3-4 three, three, is how we roll today. And we're going to have to go attacking. Let's distribute to our center back since we don't have fullbacks. Let's counter press. Let's engage them higher up. I think we... I have faith in you. No one cares. It'll be a miracle. It'll be a miracle. I don't know if I've ever come back to score four goals. I like how... Okay, that's their side. I was gonna, Okay, right. Okay, another flash of the screen. That's a weird thing. That's the second time I've recorded an episode and seen that. It's like a late sub thing. Doyle. We have lots streaming for. We got... Okay, our back line is set. Doyle... Oh, that was in! That was in! Why did you stop running? That was a lovely ball from Dole. That's a probably get you get you a contract extension ball. I like the I like the thinking there. We had two guys that could have made that run. Gary O'Neill, though. Can he get it to Waters? The deep lying far! Oh, it's over the bar. You demand more. I mean, what? Like, okay. We've had three clear cut chances. They've had two. We're down three nil. The, it's 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 almost like the height of the moment has gotten to us. Waters, take two touches. There you go. Oh, the, I mean, at least you took the two touches I asked for, right? Like I said two touches, you did that. And you're on a 5.9. It's going to say, why didn't you take him off? And I'm going to say, good point. So we'll do this. Um, do we want to do that? I guess we could bring Mulhall up. Okay, you go here. You go here. This is all out of sorts, isn't it? Mulhall can do the pressing forward, and since we are pressing... Oh, you should be able to know this role. I mean, come on, mate. <laughs> this is... For those of you that don't know, this is not going to work. <laughs> oh, we have, we have completely blown it. If we score four goals here, I, I don't even know what to say. I eat my shoes. <laughs> oh, the moment was too big for us. At home, a chance to not only secure a playoff spot, but potentially to make a run at winning the title. And we have completely fluffed our lines. Completely. Like, not even remotely close. Look at their ratings. All the green. Various shades of green. Let's just try very attacking for the last two minutes. Can we get a goal? 10 and 10, 3 and 6. And at the time, it was three clear-cut chances for us to there, too. We're down 3-0. No. 
just wasn't to be. Look at that. Oh. I'm okay with losing that game, but like this? Oh, that's, that's. That's harsh. Unacceptable. I, yeah. I don't get to say that a lot. At least I haven't this season. So I think that's a fair thing to scream at them. That's dropped us to third. Oh, man. Wait. Okay. It it could have secured us a playoff spot. It did secure us a playoff spot. There's two games left. Seven. We have 22 inbox notifications. Let's go find out what that's about. Kevin Knight can now play as a left back, even though that was his best position. Okay, great. Mulhall, Valsdan, Goldrock. Great. UCD do the double. Congrats. Um, yeah, we've guaranteed... Okay, good. Right? UCD clenches the title. I right, have good intentions. We offered a trial. What? This is a lot... Okay. It's all trial. It... Oh, okay. What I did, I was like, why is it showing this like this? There, I, I, I went hunting. I went hunting um, in like the Vanarama and like and in Scotland for players we could trial that were like loan listed at a variety of positions, not knowing anything about them just to see if we could get somebody in. We go, like, oh, your contract's up and you're like significantly better than all of our players. So... I guess what we'll do, my friends, is we'll come back. It doesn't matter. I guess it does matter. We'll do a we'll do a double episode next time to see where we end up. I mean, we've made the playoffs, but the money difference. We'll just do it on key highlights. Is what I'm thinking. I mean, that's a seven thousand or nine thousand from fourth to second difference. That's not insignificant. Not insignificant when you... Oh, we're up to 45 grand because of that game. Disappointing. Um, that's huge, right? Like that That 9,000 is... What is that? 20%? Yeah, 20%. Yes, 20%. I had to do the math like three times in my head just to make sure. So we will come back. We will show you both of those games just to see where we end up. And again, can we bounce back from a 3-0 smashing? 1,039 fans showed up. And stood along the fence. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I should say if you if you enjoyed the episode, if you if you if you if you want to support the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment. We'll see you next time.